Hello everybody, Anthony Alfredo here with a new episode of Who's Next. Today we head to Quincy, Washington to interview Casey Klein, the 14-year-old racer who started racing at age 7 in bandos and carts, but we've got him with here online to hear more about his story and where he's at now. Casey, how you doing? Doing good, yourself? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, first off, let's start with some of the series you've been racing in the 5150 series uh, with Mav TV at Madera Speedway. Uh, I know you've been driving in the junior late models, pro late models, even some super late models stuff. So uh, starting out in carts and bandoleros, how's that transition been to, to full bodied stock cars going for you? Well, the transition's been going pretty good. The first couple years I was transitioning, it was kind of a struggle, but now that I and in the juniors for a couple of years, it's been pretty easy and I'm working my way up there and I've been doing pretty good this year. Well, I see so far you've, you're second in the points in the junior league model. So definitely is going really well for you. Hopefully uh, you're able to, to close out with the championship or something like that. You have a lot of top threes uh, in all your starts and even a, a late model win out at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Uh, was that at the bull ring? Yeah, that was at the bull ring. Oh, perfect. That's that's our where we're cutting to after this episode. So um, 10th place finish as well in the summer showdown. And one cool uh, fun fact I want to point out was you raced with your dad in a really big race. And I believe you were the youngest to start that race. So what exactly was that? What did that mean to, to race with your father as well? Oh, it definitely meant a lot because he's been kind of my inspiration. He was the reason I got into racing. So being able to race with him and a pretty big race was kind of cool and just different. That's awesome to hear. And I know you're racing with, uh, Nate Clower, I believe is, uh, the team in the junior late model program you're, you're competing with, which is also where I've uh, seen Jesse love Haley Deegan, um, and Joey East compete with and, and been climbing the ranks through the Arca and some truck, uh, series starts as well. So definitely a, a path that's already kind of been paved. So do you plan to, to go that route as well yourself? Oh, yeah, I definitely plan to try to go that route myself. That's awesome. Well, I know your sponsor has a, a pretty unique connection to Lay's Potato Chips. If I'm not mistaken, they actually grow the potatoes that are used. Is that correct? Tell us a little bit about that, how you met them, and, and how that relationship all began. So my mom is a general manager there, so that's how we kind of got connected with them. But, yeah, they grow potatoes for um, Lay's, so when you're eating a bag of laced potato chips, my sponsor could have been the provider for those potatoes for, for the potato chips. That's really neat. That's a unique story and a sponsor to have Thamer Farms is the, is the partner of yours that, that does that. So every time I'm eating a bag of potato chips, I'm going to have to to think about that. Good chance uh, that it was grown by them. So uh, I know you have some, some stories here. You you're big into motorsports, anything with a motor. That's how I was growing up. Uh, I think you had a, a pretty wild razor accident, if I'm not mistaken. So how did that happen? What was that like? And were you all right? Yeah, so I was just riding my razor around in our field because they weren't growing anything because it's during the winter. And I took a corner pretty fast and I flipped like three or four times and I bent the roll cage down below my head and I ended up getting a concussion. But I was fine. I walked away from it. That's pretty insane. I'm glad to hear you're all right. As race car drivers, usually you think most of those accidents might occur on the track, but obviously we're adrenaline junkies and always pushing the envelope and pushing the limits and anything we find ourselves behind the wheel of. Uh, but I also know you're a sim racer and at least sim racing, you usually have a reset button. So that's a little more convenient, but do you do iRacing frequently and how did you get into that? Yeah, I've been doing iRacing frequently recently. Um, I got into it really big when COVID started. Um, we got a series put on, I think by Rod actually, for junior late model drivers and we just raced at some of the bigger tracks in iRacing. So we had some racing to do while everything was shut down. That's awesome to hear. I know sim racing and iRacing definitely blew up during all that. Uh, I, I myself was doing a lot more of it. I'd been on there, but got the chance to compete in the first national televised event for esports and iRacing, the Pro Invitational Series. Really cool to see that. But uh, to wrap things up, we want to do some rapid fire questions. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Well, first up, favorite movie? Uh, Days of Thunder. 
Excellent. Favorite band? Uh, ACDC. How about your favorite food? Uh, definitely steak. <laughs> awesome. And favorite sport other than racing to either compete in or watch? Football, for sure. Football, love it. Last but not least, favorite race car driver? Uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Excellent. Then Timidator, as he was called. Uh, very cool. Well, we appreciate your time today, Casey, and good luck the rest of your season. You've accomplished a lot so far. We wish you well and hope you continue to have a ton of success. That is today's episode of Who's Next. I'm your host, Anthony Alfredo. Now back to the bullring. Thank you.